What's happening boys and girls? It's your boy Zach back in the house with another workout video and you know what time it is. Today's workout was all about back width and abs. I've been getting a lot of requests to show the ab work that I do, um, whether it's through Instagram or on my YouTube or on Reddit as well. So I will show you guys four ab exercises at the end of the workout. Uh, but first, I started with back width exercises, so just emphasizing vertical pulling exercises. I started with five sets of 10 with regular pull-ups right before this, but lots of times the bar is just too high and my tripod is too short to really do the pull-ups justice. I just don't like how the the angle kind of just shows my more my lower half than it does my upper half. So I decided not to film that today. Uh, instead, I started filming with all my pull-down variations. So I started with a regular pull-down. You guys know I've been doing a closer grip where my my um, pointer finger is right where the bar starts to bend. And I've just found that I'm getting way better contraction. And I'm not getting any of that funky feeling in my left shoulder. Uh, with a wider grip, sometimes I get this funky feeling in the front of my shoulder. So that's really helped out. And that's just a... Hopefully that's a reminder for everybody out there, you know, you need to experiment with your own grip widths to find what works for you and where you feel the muscles the best. And also, uh, you'll just naturally know as you do and groove these movements what works best for you. It'll feel good versus kind of this off feeling. It might not be painful, but it just feels off. So I did three pull-down variations, first pronated, then neutral, and then you can see right here supinated. And with the supinate, I lean back just a little bit more, and I'm trying to get it to my chin and not my chest on that. So I'm emphasizing a little bit of a lower angle and also leaning back slightly more than I do on the first two pull-down variations. After that, I went to a single-arm pull-down. You, you guys know I'm huge on unilateral work because you're able to get a better mind-muscle connection, and I'm still trying to bring balance to my shoulders, my Right lat tends to activate better and my shoulders in a better position. My left lat, I tend to get more upper trap activation than I want. So that's why I've really been emphasizing. You can see that girl walked right in front of the camera and just, <laughs> you kind of saw what happened there. I've been having people walk in front of my camera more and more. Uh, I can't really get upset at them just because everybody pays the same amount at the gym. But it can be frustrating at times because I find that the same people like to walk in front of the camera over and over again, and it's my thought that they're doing that on purpose. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to keep doing me, and uh, when you start filming and uh, you, you start putting yourself out there, you're going to have people that get annoyed or don't understand what you're doing. So um, at first when I started filming, I was very self-conscious, and now I'm, I'm very much comfortable filming. I'm very much comfortable talking about what I'm doing. Whether or not it's the best way, uh, it doesn't matter to me. It's it's my way. And most importantly, and I tell you guys this repeatedly, I am having fun in the gym. I look forward to going every single day. And the most important variable when it comes to training in a split that you and it's about you enjoying what you're doing and maximizing your adherence to a program. If you want to do a five-day bro split, and you can do it repeatedly and you do it and you don't miss a workout for a straight year. I mean, just think about how many workouts you're getting in. You're getting in 300 plus workouts throughout the year. Uh, and, you know, versus if you're doing something else that you don't really enjoy and you only get half that number of workouts because you're taking a rest day every other day. You're not really feeling satisfied, but you've been told that's the way you need to do it. And for me, you know, I, I got stuck in that for a long time. Uh, and you guys know from watching my videos, I do more, you know, mid to high rep range work. And, you know, I've explained why in other videos. Uh, but um, there's still a point where my heavy is all relative now. So like these dumbbell pullovers, this was a heavy set for me. Going like 10 to 12 reps and really having to focus on pulling back up and dragging my elbows back up. That was a hard exercise. That was a hard 10 to 12 reps for me. And that's what you need to do is find that challenge in the rep range that you're most comfortable with. Uh, so after all the back width exercises, I moved on to abs. Now I'm going to kind of explain my rationale for my ab training. First, hanging leg raises. Uh, four sets of 25 reps. I don't care to do these weighted because I feel it way too much in my hip flexors. Seeing as your knees are being driven up towards your chest, this is going to target more of your lower abdominals. I've been folding my knees 
because I'm getting a better contraction at the top. You can see my knees come up a little bit further than 90 degrees and that right there, your lumbar spine just slightly rounds out, which is going to give you a better contraction uh, right here. If you ever lay on your back and you flatten your back and tighten your abdominals, that's kind of the same thing you're going for here. You want to really tighten your abdominals and come up and that's going to cause your back to round just a little bit, uh, which is okay when you're not, when your spine's not loaded uh, like it, you know, you don't want to round your back during squats or deadlifts, of course. So, after that, I moved on to an upper abdominal exercise. So now instead of bringing my knees up, I'm bringing my torso up. Uh, four sets of 15 right here. I popped the t-shirt off so you guys can kind of see the development. Um, I'm feeling really good about my core development. And you know, guys, you know, I keep getting asked, like, how often do you train your abs? Like, what do you do? Like, there is no secret. I maybe do them once a week. Uh, three to four exercises, so maybe 12 to 16 sets. Uh, you know, some of this is... I hate to say it, but some of it's genetics, like just how your abs are kind of set up. And, um, you know, I haven't ever been this lean, so I can't attest to my ab development over a long time. But I do have pictures from five years ago where I was lean. I was smaller, a little smaller, uh, but I, I always had that look to my abdominal wall. So some of it's genetics, but also understanding you do need to train them. They're just like any other muscle group. I kind of put abs in the same category as calves. People love to just be like, well, I don't have any abs, so I'm not going to work them. I can't see them, so I'm not going to work them. That's the stupidest thing ever. Like, if you're bulking, that's when you're trying to grow muscle. You better be working them. Just because you can't see them, like, does not mean they're not going to grow. As a matter of fact, they are going to grow when you're in a surplus if you're training them hard enough and frequently enough. So after that, I did a plank series. Uh, you can see I was loving the music right here, and I put this in four times motion. So I was very excited. I did 10 to 12 breaths each side. I don't care about seconds. I care about breaths. Understanding I'm not trying to hold side planks and front planks for five minutes apiece. It's a waste of my time. It's ineffective. I'd rather make them harder for 30 to 60 seconds than sit there bored to, you know, crying my eyes out over boredom uh, than uh, making them harder and challenge myself more. So those breaths, you got to understand your abdominals do forced exhalation. So in and then out, almost like you're blowing through a straw, is going to contract your abdominals harder than just hanging out there. Make and put some you know, force and put some uh, contraction behind what you're doing. Put some intention behind it. So after that, I did a kettlebell lift. I actually, um, we do these at the, the gym I work at, and I really like this exercise. You can see right here as I push away from me at the top, that's where the movement gets harder. You can see you're trying not to lean away. You're trying not to rotate your body. You're trying to stay as stiff as a statue, okay? So, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Nice, short, and sweet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are enjoying, comment below. Let me know why you like the videos. Also, if there is anything you want to see in the future, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you next time. Take care. Have a great week.